So this mini lecture is going to look at the idea of colored objects under colored light. So let's remind ourselves what really is a colored object. Well, if I have a green apple, why do I say that apple is green? Well, molecularly, that apple can absorb some wavelengths of light and reflect other wavelengths of light. Now, we're going to stick to our model of light being those primary three colors, red, blue, and green. So white light coming from our environment is comprised of, of course, all wavelengths of light in the vis visible spectrum. We're going to model it as that red, blue, and green. So imagine we have this green apple, and we have a beam of white light coming down upon that green apple, and we know that that white light is made up of red, blue, and green in our model. So what happens when those three wavelengths of light, those three light colors, hit this green apple? Well, the green light bounces off due to the makeup of that apple. Fundamental with that apple, the blue light, that gets absorbed, as does the red light. So when we look at a green apple outside in the white light, we see it as green. But what if we present different colors of light with objects? What if we put this green apple under a blue light? Or I wrap this green apple in a blue filter, like I might if I'm going to wrap it in colored cellophane or plastic wrap that you might get at the grocery store. What happens when we change the light that an object receives to how we perceive the color of the object? Well, it just uses what it has. We don't have to think about anything different happening. We just have to appreciate what light the object is getting and what it does with that light. So let's imagine this green apple again, but instead of providing this green apple, this green apple, with white light, I preside it with blue light. I shine blue light on this object that absorbs blue. So that blue light, this was blue, that blue light goes into the object and nothing is reflected off of the surface of that object. And so my apple becomes black. It appears rotten. It appears black because no light is being reflected. Well, what if instead of a blue light, I present that apple with a yellow light? Well, we need to remember that yellow is made up of both red and green. And so as, as I present that apple with a red and green light, the red light, well, that gets absorbed by the apple, but the green light bounces off. And indeed, I see the apple as green, as I would if it was under white light. Let's look at an object that's made up of a secondary color. Let's imagine that I am wearing a beautiful magenta sweater. So here is my beautiful magenta shirt, sweater, it's a short sleeve sweater, I guess. There's my magenta sweater. And if I'm wearing this magenta sweater and I shine white light on it, red light, blue light, and green light, let's remind ourselves what happened. Well, I have red light, and I have blue light hitting it, and I have green light. Well, I see magenta when I view this object under white light. That tells me what it reflects and what it absorbs. It tells me that the green light is absorbed by this shirt, but the blue light and the red light are both reflected, so I see magenta. What if I take this shirt and I put it under yellow light? Well, we want to remind ourselves that yellow is made up of both red and green. So I have green light hitting the shirt, and I have red light hitting the shirt. A magenta shirt absorbs green light, but it reflects the red light. And therefore, this magenta shirt becomes red when I present yellow light with it. 
What if I presented cyan light? Well, cyan light we know is made up of blue and green. Magenta again absorbs the green light, but reflects the blue light. So the blue light that is presented to it is reflected and we view this magenta shirt as blue. So we can change the color of the object, not fundamentally in terms of what it reflects or what it absorbs, but visually by presenting it with light that it either reflects or absorbs. We can tr control what then light is reflected and therefore what color we see the object. All right, good job.